Hello everybody! Welcome to Get Her Done. We're gonna make some meatloaf today. Rick and Flo's meatloaf today. Rick's making it though. Flo's helping. Aren't you Flo? So we have a some Italian mild sausage. It's about a pound of that. And we have a pound of hamburger. This is 93% uh, fat free. What is it? Uh, yeah, it's lean. 93% lean. I was going to say fat free there for a second. Uh, okay, well, this is uh, garlic, I do believe here. Yep, some garlic. Some onion powder. <laughs> Some Montreal steak seasoning. And I have some jalapenos, but I don't think I have enough. So Flo has some uh, dehydrated ones we're going to put those in here. Only a few. I've used these before. It's uh, California crushed jalapenos. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Pen Penzies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Penzies. You get this all the time, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me try that. This is the brand that Flo likes to get. You see that in there? Pensies. All right. I'm gonna throw some corn in there. And peas. This is two cups of uh, breadcrumbs, which are those. Oh, where did I put those? I put them away already. Hang on. I just went and grabbed some of these uh, best choice and a little ground them up. So we got two cups of those. Do I put milk in this or not? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. I wasn't sure. Couldn't remember. It's been a while since I made meatloaf. Alright, let's mix this all up before we put the eggs in it. it up a little bit. It's just the oven warming up. Got the oven on three, 
375. And we're probably going to cook it for about 50 minutes. And then we'll see where we are from there. Grab a little pan. Edge of my gloves. Still there? Okay. Got this little pan here. It's a meatloaf pan. Works very well. Put that in there. Okay, I'm not packing it down in there, just putting it in there. You don't want to pack it. You want a little space around the outside edges. And we'll throw some ketchup across the top as soon as I find it. Yes. Big refrigerator. Still in focus film there? Yep. We'll move it over a little bit. You can put whatever you want on it, barbecue sauce, whatever. I'm not going to barbecue this one since it's 50, that Italian sausage and 50% hamburger. It's probably going to come out like a giant meatball. If I actually was able to get the just the pork alone, I would probably put barbecue sauce on it. Okay. That's it. Goes in the oven. Do I tin foil this? You can. Should I? Sure, yeah. Okay. Put tin foil over the top. <laughs> Put it in the oven. All right. I'll be back. I could. All right. It's all done. Put it in there for an hour, five minutes. Uh, I pulled it out around 50 and probed it wasn't hot enough put it in for uh, to had like hour five on it at 375 and then put it back in for another 10 minutes with the foil off and it is done mm, look at that so all we have to do now is eat it <laughs> i'm sure it's going to be good all right so that's it for this one and, uh, hey, be nice to your neighbor, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Forgot to show you about the pan. You cut along the edges of the pan. Still some in there. I'll clean that off. Yes, the other. And you slide it out, and you put it on a plate. It's easier to cut it that way. So this uh, has kind of a dual purpose. It's for meatloaf. And... Keeps all the grease from soaking into the meatloaf. All right. Mmm. That's it. Bye.